Hello, everybody, and welcome to a newly updated Jurassic World. Um, we're sort of going to go over um, the new updates that have arrived and what that could mean for your game. So, uh, the biggest thing to take away, I think, or what one of the biggest effectors is Monostegatops. And for a long time... Oh, look how dark it is. Isn't it just lovely? Oh, that, that's, that's as high as we can go, eh? All right, then. Looks like we're going to have to increase the uh, ISO. Oh, there you go. Okay. Good? Yes. Right, Monostegatops um, has got some new uh, abilities. Dig in, which is a priority cleanse self. Increase speed by 10% for two turns. Shield 50% for one turn. And heal for 25. Uh, swap in stunning strike. 66% chance to stun a target. Attack for one times the amount. And then lock down for two turns. So they've added a bunch, a bunch of new attacks and uh, abilities as well. Uh, I'm assuming they, they saw how amazing Draco Rex was with the swap in ability, and they thought, "Hey, I'm gonna. We should probably give everything else similar abilities." So I'm gonna quickly. Uh, well, for me, I think there's new hybrids as well. Um, let's have a look. What what new things do we have? Oh, we've got a bunch. So. Yes, the biggest news is there is now an Indominus Rex Gen 2. So I haven't put anything in my hair today. And look at it, it's a mess. Uh, <laughs> Indominus Rex Gen 2, which is... Oh, T-Rex Gen 2. And is that Delta? And then they fuse together to make Indoraptor Gen 2. That's interesting. So, whoa, okay, we've got to get uh, Delta up to... Level 10, I would assume? Is it, is it going to be level 10? Because this is for an epic, so we're going to focus today on getting... Um, no, no, don't, don't, don't spend it. Is it? Is it level 10? It is level 10, okay. So we're going to get Indominus Rex Gen 2, and we're going to get uh, Indoraptor Gen 2. Also, the splash screen looks amazing. I'm sure it's the thumbnail for the video because it just looks so good. <laughs> Oh, and the problem is, this is going to take a long time. Now, apparently, um, there's a glitch at the moment, or at least I think it's a glitch. It looks to be a glitch where um, it takes 500 epic DNA for a pop for a fuse, which doesn't sound right. That sounds like there's something that still needs to be fixed. Um, oh, God. Oh, this is giving me bad flashbacks. When I was fusing, I think it was the new um, Yoshi, that the... Um, the crazy amazing thing um it took me an hour i think it was an hour and a half to get it to where it was because i was just sit literally sat here clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking um probably one of the downsides to this game is that like if you want to max something up or you, you know it isn't really ready and you've got to do this it's going to take a long time but here we go indominus rex gen 2 um so this one's an epic and not a... What, what's the other one? What, what, what's the red? I don't even know. Oh, this one looks cool. He's darker. Um, so it's got definite strike. Uh, mutual fury. That's a new one. Cleanse self. Increase damage by 50%. Opponent turn. Uh, and then increase speed by 10%. Okay. And the armor piece of rampage. A cloak, of course. And an immunity passive. DPG research indicates this creature is most active on Saturday and a dangerous attempt by engine to alter the already vicious Indominus Rex resulted in this Gen 2. The creature's yellow stripes become brighter with the adrenaline rush she experiences after a successful hunt. Interesting. Okay. And to make Indoraptor Gen 2, oh, you need blue. Um, and we need to get this thing to level 15. It's it's already level 11. It, we're, we're pretty close. The only the problem comes when we have to then um, fuse like 50 a pop, I think. We'll have a look. We'll have a look what uh, Indoraptor Gen 2 is. We thought when Indoraptor was first introduced into the game that we would need blue DNA. I mean, it only makes sense. Comes from the movie, right? And that's kind of what they were doing to make Indoraptor. Even though Indoraptor wasn't made from blue's DNA. I don't think it was. I think it was made from Indominus's, wasn't it? I was like, ah, da, 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 da. The movie's a uh, movie's long, long past my uh, consciousness. That's for sure. <laughs> so we we have to do this. Uh, I also want to check to see if there's um, that glitch going. Oh, 
Are we, are we gonna be a good boy, Mike, today? We're gonna be good. Uh, what else? So, yes, they've also added a campaign uh, to the game. A little bit late. Uh, a new battle mode is available to all players who have obtained at least four creatures. Use the top navigation tabs to alternate between the ad adverse adversarial PvP mode. Sorry, they threw a big word at me and it completely flummoxed me. Um, <laughs> mode and the single player campaign mode. The campaign features nine chapters mapped out in various environments. Chapters consist of a linear series of missions. Complete missions to receive rewards and move on to the next mission. Missions can re be replayed, but rewards are only obtained once. Play each uh, chapter's mission and you can move on to the next chapter. The campaign starts by teaching you the basic archetypes between fierce, resilient, and cunning creatures. We have types? All right. Um, the final chapter uh, has material to challenge players who have reached the end game. So that's more players like me and pretty much everyone else who's been playing this from the start. Uh, with the first two missions and campaign replacing the tutorial, they will need to be completed in order to access standard PvP. So that's good. So there is a tutorial now to teach players how to, you know, expect a battle to go. Um, if a player has already completed both introduction uh, battles, tutorial PvP will be unlocked. If a player has only have completed the first introduction battle, PvP is not unlocked. <gasps> Would you believe? The player will need to complete the second introduction uh, battle. Only the rewards. So, this is the weirdest thing is, I'm getting flashbacks from Jurassic Park Builder. Do you remember that? Oh man, when we used to, what did we do? You you would, I think it was 50 battles, and depending on which battle you, because uh, it was a, go a, sil a bronze, a silver, and a gold medal, and if you, there was a glitch in it for a while that if you got the bronze. And then you got the gold again, you would get the gold rewards. So you could just farm for books. Um, so I'm hoping we're gonna have a glitch like that. So maybe we can just keep on redoing the battles and getting the prizes. Um, I mean, I hope, I hope, maybe, I hope Ludi has been nice enough to put in an accidental. Oh no! Ooh, that was naughty. Almost clicked on it there. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm playing this all the time. Like, oh God, how big is Indominus Rex? We've got a chair and a table and a computer there. Indominus Rex was not that big. This thing is absolutely massive. That's new. It, so they've added chairs and tables and desks to the uh, the lab. I mean, it just makes this Indominus Rex look like a bloody titan. It's like something from Dino Crisis 3 or something like that. Uh, but we're almost there. We've almost got a level 15. And then once we get to level 15, um, we, we then need to probably fill its bar out. Um, Good news is that T Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2 is quite common. Uh, and I've got 31,000 DNA of that. And out of, is it Echo or is it Delta, this this Raptor? I can't remember. I have 20,000, so we're pretty good. Uh, and then we need to see maybe Indo Indoraptor Gen 2 goes into something. That'd be so cool if you fused Indoraptor with Indoraptor Gen 2 to make something super crazy. An indominum nom 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 There you go. Get free pizza with that one. Just letting you know. Uh, <laughs> comedy on point today. I have not just spent, what was it, like two or three hours playing Ancestors, not recorded, basically grinding, um, to get a video. Uh, so yeah, I, 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 can't, I apologize, and then I also don't apologize that there is a lot of Ancestors on the channel at the moment. I've got a lot of stuff to get through, like, a lot, um, and it, like, Ancestors is a series where people want to see it, like, now, 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 and in a month's time, people aren't really going to be that fussed, um, and I, I've kind of, I'm really grateful for the, um, the, like, the people who are watching it, because I'm really enjoying it, um, but it does take hours to do stuff. I spent today just traveling from one spot to the other, trying not to die, constantly healing people who have been attacked by wild predators. Because even though I've unlocked the trait, which means that my, my, you know, my tribe, if they don't have a weapon in their hand, they have a, a chance to dodge an attack. I've never seen them do it. They always, they always get jumped by a saber-toothed cat. Uh, so this is probably worth two pops at the Indoraptor, which we all know we're not going to get it because we need, what, like 250 DNA in order to unlock it? And we are not getting 
two hundreds. And even then, we need more than that. So we're going to end up using a lot of coin. Uh, there was some interesting other hybrids there that I haven't seen before. Um, I know that there is a Gastornis and Myasaurus. Uh, hybrid, which is really good because Myasaur doesn't have a hybrid. Um, oh, sorry, Phosphoracus, that's the one. Phosphoracus, um, that guy didn't have a hybrid either. Um, <laughs> also, for people in my alliance, the, the, I, I don't know who it was, I think it was somebody made a Discord just specifically for my alliance and it went horrendously wrong. There was like a bunch of kids in there just insulting each other and people were just getting like, why, why am I even part of this? So I decided, you know what? We're going to make a separate channel on uh, my own Discord uh, where it will just be for people in the Alliance. And if you make trouble and you start like, oh god, I was about to friggin uh, evolve it there, uh, call the names, you'll be kicked out of the group. Good! <laughs> so we got 200. Um, oh god, wow. We've got, we've got one, two, three, four, five, five more pops. And if we get a few more thirties, that'll be over pretty quick. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. 80, there we go. Wah! And why is it not picking up as if I have VIP membership? I've got a, uh, a blue circle around my number at the top left instead of a yellow one. I canceled my Jurassic World Alive. I did not, sorry, my Jurassic World the game membership. I didn't cancel my Jurassic World Alive one. However, um, ooh, it was close. It was close. We've almost got it. I would say 150 we need of Indominus Rex Gen 2 just to guarantee it, I would say. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, we could even get it in one pop, but it's always better to be safe. And it'll be interesting to see what this Gen 2 Indomin Indoraptor... We'll also... I mean, we've got loads to go over. We've got the campaign. Um... Some new changes, Sanctuary Improvements and Cenozoic Creatures. So we'll go over this while we start, you know, involving and wasting our time. Uh, rebalance the impact of Sanctuary levels on the DNA reward, because you guys know that it was absolutely yeah, abysmal. Uh, we heard your feedback about the lack of impact of leveling Sanctuaries to the, max, uh, to the max level, especially for epics. In order to make it more interesting, we rebalanced it. At level 20, Sanctuaries will give double the DNA rewards compared to a level 1, so that's pretty decent. You can now tap the creature in the enclosure view uh, to go in care view for the creature. It's equivalent of tapping its portrait in the list below. Okay, interesting. Furthermore, it should now be easier to visit multiple, multiple remote sanctuaries via your alliance list of shared sanctuaries. As each time you exit, you will return to your previous context. The list is... Okay. Instead of the map. Ah, okay, so... When you used to click on it and you'd go exit, you'd be back onto the map instead of back onto the list of sanctuaries, which just made visiting multiples kind of a bit of a ball ache. But now it looks like they they fixed that. So that's another uh, nice thing they've done. World exploration. Uh, reduce the presence of daily creatures on the map. When we introduced creatures that spawn on specific days, we wanted to be sure they would have a big presence in the world. We've since heard your feedback that their presence was a bit too much, which is true. And there we go, we're gonna unlock this and we'll continue on with the, the update. So there we go, a, a pale Indoraptor. It's, it's, this is the one that Dr. Wu wanted to make, the one with a blue stripe. Ooh, it has a different call as well. So, cautious strike, cleanse yourself, increases speed 10% for two turns. 50% chance to dodge 66.7% of damage? Why 0.7? Okay. Uh, reduce opponent's damage 50% for one attack. Ooh, that sounds interesting. You've got the Mutual Fury. Uh, definitive or definite rampage. Evasive stance. And then you've got two uh, passives. Immune to distraction and immune to stuns. Pretty darn decent. Um, wow, wow, we're gonna see so many unique dinosaurs come out of this. Uh, and so here we go. We have other, uh, hybrids that we haven't seen before. So let's have a look at this guy. Um, oh god, the Brontolasmus. Interesting, interesting. Uh, what is this guy? This is a turtle, I think. Yeah, this creature I haven't found yet. The turtle is in the game! A lot of people want it in the game. Um, they thought it was just gonna be food. Four. Oh god, hold on. Hold on, guys. We're gonna just ink. Ooh, that's lowering it. Ooh, there we go. Beautiful. Um, yeah, a lot of people thought there was just gonna be food for the Cenozoic creatures. 
It's not, however. Um, it's also going to change that, actually, now, because now we've went a bit too dark. There we go! Uh, sorry, too bright. So that's an Azudoceratops. Interesting. Uh, we got this, the Gastornis. Oh, uh, sorry, Phosphoracus. So that and the Myasaur, that could be a pretty decent one. Um, because it is a legendary, that's it. We got this guy. I think... Oh, no, it's a new one. It's the, uh, like... Yeah, I thought it was this guy, but we've already had that one. It's a it's a better version, apparently. And then this one, which is a puppy dog. Um, the Thalocator. So, so you got the Marsupial Lion and Irritator. Now, a lot of people already have Irritator level 30. So, I mean, maybe you've got more DNA or... There we have it. So, what I wanted to do is check my dinosaurs that I used to see if there's been any difference. Uh, Thordor is as overpowered as ever, which is great. Uh, Dina Cheris, any of the attacks changed? Nope. Uh, Ulla Dominus? I think the health's been increased. Uh, Cloak, I mean, passive, nothing new there. This guy. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Distracting, swap in a location, immunity to passive. Oh, immunity passive, that's fine. Um, yeah, seems... Everything seems to be quite normal. Uh, no big changes, medium counter. Uh, Draco Rex, or Draco Ceratops. Still got the Rampage, still got the Swap In, still got Regeneration. So it's all okay. Nothing. So my, my team has been unaffected. There may be little balance changes, like some with more health, some with less health. Um, we can easily check on there. Um, Everything seems to be okay. Now, the biggest change is Indo Indoraptor here. This guy, because a lot of people maxed it out, put mods into it or boosters, and then it just became unusable because the meta had changed to a point where it needed something to really boost it. So, to help it, uh, now you have immune to distraction and immune to stuns. So, it's kind of interesting when this thing already has uh, a cleansing strike. And, uh, yeah, we now need to... Uh, Go all the way back up, because the sun's burning again. Uh, so we, we're probably going to see Indoraptor coming back. Um, replacing some... I mean, its speed's pretty decent. How about my favorite? Is, th is this e useful at all? Uh, oh! Immune to stuns, immune to distraction. Uh, precise shattering counter. Yeah, that's fine. So the... Ooh, maybe... Maybe this thing could be used because it's now got the immunity to stun immune distraction. Mm. Maybe a play with it is worth the try. Um, there was somebody that had a three a times three attack on them, and I don't know who that was. Some other big users like this guy um, doesn't seem like they've changed much. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of other dinosaurs that get used a lot. I mean, there's a bunch of them, really. So, um, and as far as, I mean, we've got the turtle to get still, and then maybe one of these guys will have a hybrid, so that'll be another one. But anyway, let's have a look at this new um, alliance. Has anybody put in a Cenozoic creature? I don't think so, no. <laughs> I don't think, nobody's put a Cenozoic creature. Uh, so let's try this. What, what do I want? Um, we could put a Draco Rex. Let's put in Draco Rex. So let's just try exiting out and changing. So there we go. This guy. My god. So we're just going to feed it. Ooh, 12 this time. Instead of like... Oh, and 12 for play. So an even. And six. Okay, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Uh, was that mine? No, it's... Okay, well, tell you what. We'll feed you again. Now exit and into the list. Yeah, into the list. There we go. It's something that's so helpful. So already we got a level six. So we get we got 12 for um I don't know what level that was and for this one we get 13. So it's an increase of one. It's not too crazy, but I mean at least they've really helped it. And I'm pretty sure with commons. Let's have a look. Let's have a look for a tarbo. Uh in a high level one. Uh no. No common? No commons? No oh well there's a Sarkasukas there, but it's pretty darn low on the level. We could increase, actually. Let's let's do this. Let's get a Phosphoracus. And let's feed Phosphoracus. So this is a new kind of animation. Ooh. Lovely. And we're now on level four. So we'll do a play as well. Oh, never mind. Didn't get the animation for that. And we'll do a pet. 28. 
I mean, I think sanctuaries are better for if you just want to grind commons. Epics, not so much, and rares, okay, but yeah, it, it's mainly just going to be for commons and rares still. Um, so, now we need to have a look. Ooh, I've got dailies. Oh, look at all that. No, 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 get off that. So, here we go. We got, if we go into battles, here we go. We got campaigns. So, this is the new thing. <gasps> Ooh, so for me, they've. Oh, this is cool. Oh, look, we got a 150 did cherries. <gasps> oh, and that. So, this is, this is one of the campaigns. Two campaigns, three campaigns, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You now have access to DPG Defense League. Is that right? Have to you may be a rookie, but you're showing the signs of a true dinosaur protector. Let's keep going. I know you. Oh, ooh. So here we go. 100 coins. 100. Ooh, defeat one creature to win. Don't lose one creature. Oh, 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 God. <laughs> I mean... Does it really make much of a difference? There we go. Oh, nice loading screen. Oh my god, I haven't been in the training grounds in ages. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, the, the lightning is so good. It's such a shame. Just like with Jurassic World, the game, you get stuck in, in just seeing the same things over and over. It'd be really cool if once you beat a league, and there we go, there's all our awards, we could be able to change it so for ourselves we could change the skin of the arena you know instead of just being stuck with gyrosphere or lockwood's manor or something like that so don't lose two creatures Ooh, what will oh, you drive a hard bargain what should we what should we face it with hmm what do we never use oh really that's all i can use oh, do we not have any more creatures let's use let's use these two I meant to click the other one, but Blue decided it just wanted to be there. So instead of using, you know, the creatures I always use, let's try this. God, he's scrawny and scrabbly and... Ooh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, the precise rampage right off the bat. That's, that's like, really, really kind of... I would say OP, but no. I don't think it is OP. I just think it's... It's just a good start. <laughs> like if something's got a cloak or whatever. Um, and then you've got the swap. Rampage and swap. Oh, look at that, the hug. The little um, kisses and then, then the switch. And there comes in blue. So now that we've got even more. Oh, blue looks so good. Oh, blue looks so good. And there's another hundred more coins. Uh, so you don't get the rewards again at all. Like, if we can... It says we can redo the battles, right? So if I click on it again... Uh, no, I don't get any... Like, you don't even get half the uh, things. Like, you know, you spend your time grinding. Nah. You just you get it once and that's it. That's a shame. I was kind of hoping that we would get more. Um, so what I'm going to do, I think, guys, is we're going to do a video where we go through all of them. Kind of tempted to do that. If we, if we go from chapter 1 all the way to chapter 9, I will lose my sanity. It's definitely guaranteed. <laughs> um, but just to see what, what we get. Um, I mean, obviously something like this is meant to be experienced as a gradual thing. As you level up your creatures, you're like, oh yeah, I could do that. But we're pretty, we're pretty end game at this point. So um, it'll be interesting to see what the prizes are. Um, it's also interesting to... To think that you could kind of save these for alliance missions where it's like open so many incubators. Because like here we go. I think this is just daily defense or open the required of daily incubators. But you do get some that them do say, oh, open the required amount of incubators. So if a if you were very clever and all all your alliance were close friends, or you were chatting all the time, you could have it. So you can really time all your openings um, of the incubators. And anyway, since we're here, we may as well open this, see if we get anything good. Um, Mia Gaia... Oh, yeah, Sanoceratops is pretty decent. And Alanqua, I think, has a hybrid now, or if it doesn't, well, it's probably... They're all gonna get hybrids eventually. Ooh, Tijongasaurus, and... Wow, that was over pretty darn quick! Everyone's like, whoa, update! <laughs> um, what shall I be cheeky and ask for? 
Ooh, who shall I, what shall I be cheeky? I think I'll be cheeky for, for, I think it's pretty low? Because I can't see it. Where is he? Where is that Tarbosaurus? I mean, just look for one that's not Phil, James. There you go, you'll see it. Aha! <laughs> so, as far as the rest of the updates, the new creatures we've got. Um, oh, there's an Entelodon. Um, there is a Klenikin. And there is a Carbonimis, which is the turtle. So, those guys might have hybrids. Highly armored, epic, resilient healer is the Carboners. Ended on his self-boosting, rare, fierce bruiser. And Klenik is cunning, fast, dodging, rare, damage dealer. There you go. And of course, you've got the other hybrids that we've kind of already seen. Uh, creature updates. There's a whole long list of everything. And there you go. So we've got a new, um, a new campaign, which looks really slick. Like, look at that. Like, that looks awesome. Um, we've got new creatures. We've got sanctuary fixes. Um, yeah, there's nothing, like, somebody said that there was a glitch where it was just costing them 500 epic DNA to do a fuse. That doesn't sound right to me. I mean, I've been doing the new Indominus Rex and Indoraptor, and it se that seemed all normal. So maybe it's just with that creature in particular that there's a bit of a weird thing going on. So if you do see anything that's way too expensive, don't do it. It'll probably be fixed. <laughs> I assure you. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it here. In the next Jurassic World Alive video, we'll probably do all of the campaign. Um, and yeah, we'll spoil it for ourselves. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, we could have cake. We could have like sli a slice of cake a day. No, we're going to eat the whole thing in one day and make ourselves sick. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.